listen to the brand new season of the Voice of Survival podcast every other Friday right here on the Journey into Comics Network at journeyintocomics.com. The following the following is a journey into comics. Journey into comics. A journey into comics. A journey into comics. Journey into comics. Journey into comics. Network. 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 Production. Production. What's up, everybody? You're listening to Podcastrophy. You can find us by searching Podcastrophy on all of your favorite podcasting platforms like Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, and more. You can also find us at journeyintocomics.com. We drop a new episode every single Thursday. Be sure to subscribe to Podcastrophy to get the show and exclusive content. We record each episode live every Tuesday around 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, and you can watch that on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Just follow Podcast Review on any of those platforms, and be sure to chat with us. Also, be sure to check out the Journey into Comics Network and all of its amazing shows. Now, on with the show! (laughs) That's like Live, Laugh, Love, except for trailer parks. (laughs) What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Podcastrophy, episode 104. I got it right this week. Yeah, you did. Last week I stumbled through you it. You suck. Like, a lot. Yeah. Um, not a lot going on here. Uh, Tyler is taking a break for a little while to focus on school, and hopefully um, it, it won't have to be longer than it needs to be, his break, that is, uh, due to scheduling conflict with us. Uh lot up in the air right now given how mu- how much we can do this show or on what day we can do the show on so um tyler's unavailable on tuesdays due to classes and uh we are only pretty much only available on tuesdays um because your work schedule and miranda that is yes my my current co-host where's my little intro I need to make a new intro. I, I was talking to Tyler. Tyler swung by Saturday and uh, picked up his cable, and I sat and talked to him for a little bit. And I, I told him like how I, I wanted to make a new intro that basically didn't say anything about hosts. It's just the show. Oh, I was gonna say because I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be hosting that way, that way it's name? like it doesn't matter who's co-hosting or who's hosting. It's just the show. You aren't gonna say your name. No. Nope. Uh, there's, there's hopefully going to be a lot. Of, I'm going I'm to hopefully make a new intro. I'm either going to like update the intro we already have, mm-hmm. or I'm just going to make a whole new one. I'm thinking about making a big dick day like the intro. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully some good changes coming our way this, for the show. Uh, until then, you're stuck with me. Till then, you're stuck with Miranda. <laughs> No, it's always fun having you on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not today as much. Nah, that's all right. You want to talk about it? I mean, are you not tired of me bitching about <laughs> work and stress well, already? I'm sure. I'm sure the audience is not tired of hearing you bitch about it. Do they want to hear me bitch about work Go for and it. stress? Let's hear it. I don't know. What do you want to hear? Life sucks. Work sucks. Yeah. You you've been put in like a, this really weird position where you eat can you 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 love your job but you the hours are just absolutely terrible. I do. Which is kind of like why this show's at this weird spot right now. Yes. Blame my work. I mean, it, no, it, I really do love what I do. For those of who don't know, I'm a dialysis technician. I save people's lives daily. But I love it. I really absolutely love it. Like I I've I I usually when I work, no matter what I do, I do a really good job at enjoying it. Yeah. I think I'm really good at doing things, stuff and things. I'm really good at it. <laughs> so I find the good in it and 
When I got hired on, I was told three 12 hour shifts a week, I'd be out by 5, 5.30. No problem. I can do that. It hasn't fucking been that. It just hasn't. No. We are so short staffed and we're just adding more patients and we don't have the staff to provide for them and we're all having to work fucking stupid hours and it's stressing me the hell out. It is. Yeah. Like what kind of hours are you working? Uh, shitty ones. <laughs> I get up at 3 a.m. in the morning and then I go to work at 4 a.m. and I'm there till 5, 6, 7 o'clock. And now that I'm going to be learning how to close the, the place down, I'll be there even later. Wait until Tuesday nights. This is what's going to suck. Tuesday nights are bleach nights, which yeah. means when I learn to bleach, I'll be there till like 11 p.m. So I'll be, I'll be working 4 a.m. to 11 p.m. I don't even know if that's legal. I really don't think it is. But. Like, especially, like, the way they give you breaks. Like, yeah. I think eight hours you're you're legally supposed to have, um, like, half an hour. Half an hour lunch yeah. for eight hours. No, like, we get our first break pretty, pretty decent time. Like, okay, so, like, today I went in at 4 a.m. I got my first break. My last patient always on at 7. So I got a little after 7, which isn't bad. Because once you get that first shift patients on, it's good. It's the turnover that sucks. And then, like, I didn't go to... Well, today I actually went to lunch at a decent time. But there's been days where I go in at 4 a.m. And it's... uh, I don't get a lunch until 3 o'clock. And that sucks. I saw her uh, Skyler's post about healthcare in general. That is true. Healthcare... It's always short staff. Yeah, I was going to say, that's how it was for you at the nursing home, too. Yeah. But the thing is, like... Your hours didn't change, basically. My hours of... didn't change. Yeah, that's the thing with this job. So, you know, I've been in CNA. I was a CNA for 11 years, and I worked every place I worked with short staff. So I'm used to that. And I told her I was used to that. But, again, my hours never changed. I still worked You just had, like, a more, more of a workload. Two. Yeah, I, I would have to pick up more workload. However, like... The way the way I see it is like this dialysis, dialysis tech clinic. It's it's kind of like a service. You people have appointments, right? And it's just set every right. day, every other day, whatever it is. And but and you have so many people per day, so you can't go out until that last person's out, right? And like they just keep adding people, yeah. adding patients, but no people. So it, no staff. It, it's to, it's yeah. like they're working one person for two shifts. Yeah. Like, we need two people. That's ridiculous. It is. It is so hard because I do. I absolutely love this job. But, yeah, going back to short staff, it is true. Healthcare is short. I mean, but, again, my hours never changed. Uh, the last nursing home I came from, that was the worst nursing home I ever worked at as far as short staff. I fucking broke my body, but 2 o'clock I was still out. I may have not gotten a lunch, but I was still out at 2 o'clock. This place, I never fucking know when I'm out. Not until that day of, and not even that, not until I know when that last patient is on. Because we're so short-staffed and we cram everybody in that, so, if if people who come in on second shift, patient-wise, are late on their own, we're allowed to take them off on their off time. Mm -hmm. So, like, I had a patient today, he came in, like, 10 minutes late, his off time is 4.30, but since he was late, it was gonna he was gonna get off at four forty. I took his ass off at four thirty because that's his off time. He, yeah. he was late. But if it's on us, if we make that person late and there's nobody running behind them, we have to offer them their full treatment. So that Wednesday that I closed, I didn't get out till nine thirty. It was after nine thirty. Yeah. Because I had a patient who was due on at <clears throat> five, but they crammed everybody together that I had Three people coming off, two people going on at the same time, and this guy didn't get on until 5.30, and he was pissed off. And, of course, he wanted to stay his whole treatment. So that meant I had to stay there half an hour longer because this place sucks. Yeah. Got a lot of people watching today. I'm on here. Hell, yeah. <laughs> but they want to hear me bitch. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. I mean, people like you're, hearing you're, me bitch. it's interesting, like... Like everybody, t 
to an extent hates their job in some way or hates going to work and I, I get it. You love your job. I do. But it, you, there's always something about oh, our yeah. jobs that we find to hate. Yeah, <laughs> we can't. Like, you can't work the perfect job, and that's what that's what's stressing me out. Because now now I'm torn between going back to my old job where I can have better hours, a little less pay, but I can control my hours more. <laughs> Not to mention you can drop the kids off of school, or the everything's right there. Right. The babysitter's right there. Their school's right there. But, Boom. you know, the only thing that stops me with that is, one, I don't want to go back to be a CNA. Yeah. I did that for so many years that my body, one, just can't take it anymore. It makes me sound old, but it just can't. It's so physical. And, two, I just, not that I shame anybody being a CNA because I did it for 11 years. But there's something prideful I take in when I say I'm a dialysis tech versus... No, it's a cool... A, it is. It's a cool title. I mean, Well, it's, not only that, like, people who are CNAs for sure take care of people and keep them alive. Definitely. But you're for sure, like, you're Like, I'm with literally blood. keeping these people alive. <laughs> their lives are in my hands. And I like that. I like that responsibility. And not only that, like, I get more one-on-one -on -one with these people. Like, even though we're short staff, I know these patients better than I know anybody that I ever worked with as an aide because we have that we have that time because once once everybody's on once changeover is done then you do have a little bit of time to breathe and relax and I can sit and talk with patients and that's what I like because it is so hands-on it's so so more important yeah but but so no I'm torn in between staying here going back or a new job becoming a phlebotomist making a little bit less not much less but a little bit but having different hours so you know going in at 10 a.m which would be nice because i could sleep in I could take the kids to school but i wouldn't get off till 7 p.m and that right there is kind of stopping me from it i've never i i don't like working evenings yeah i mean that's not really a late evening but that's still late enough where I'm like, eh, I'm going to miss the kids' activities when they get into stuff. Yeah. And I don't know how I feel about that. So, I have been a hot mess. Yeah, you have. Today today has been a bad one. Like, I'm, I'm really good at work with, I'm really good in general hiding my feelings. Or like masking or bottling them up and not showing them, which can be bad sometimes. But at work, most importantly, because... I work in a stressful job. It's stressful, and I have certain coworkers that bitch about their life and about being there, which I think is bullshit. You shouldn't be bitching to these patients about your life. And I think that's why I have a lot of patients love me because I'm so positive. But I even had some today point out that they could tell I was off, which then upsets me because then I'm not hiding it very well. Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm to that point where I'm just like, fuck it, I don't care. And I don't want to get to that point where I'm like, fuck it. But yeah, but yeah, that's my bitching. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> and that is why I'm drinking now. <laughs> you drink every episode of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I literally got off work. I even told the nurse, got off work. That shitty ass fucking liquor store on 18th Street there that looks like it probably gets robbed every day. I went there on on uh, Erie or Elm. Yeah, literally right there. I had some drunk dude holding a 40, I, like not letting me park in a parking spot because it was so packed. Went there and my ass came inside the door. I opened a bottle the second I walked in the door and I took it into the shower with me. And I took a shower with my drink. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I came. I came upstairs because I was down here. Uh, I was watching like mixing tutorial videos and stuff, and uh, I go upstairs and because you said you you sent me a text saying I'm taking a shower real quick. Uh huh. And I was like, all right, she's home. <laughs> yeah, I was run upstairs. I see. I see your uh, six pack of mics and two two are gone. I'm like, yeah. I drank. I went to the bathroom, drank one, and then I got one before I got in the shower. <laughs> But she means business tonight. Yes. But no, I know I had to take a shower. I was sweaty because here going bitching about work again. Go for it. Like it's called content. <laughs> yes. 
people want to hear me bitch <laughs> we got i'd like to make it at least 30 to 45 minutes <laughs> well i have 30 to 45 minutes worth of bitching to do 15 minutes in so i have that much bitching now um it's gonna sound like gibberish though because i mean nobody's gonna know what i'm talking about they're gonna be like uh, somebody out there might maybe but um so no i'm a sweaty fucking mess because where i work we have three rooms we have a small room that has six chairs, a middle room that has nine chairs, and then the big room has 11. So the patient to tech ratio used to be 4-1, which meant a patient, a one tech could take care of four patients. Mm -hmm. They bumped that up, because we're short staff, to f five to one. So one tech takes care of five. Well, I was stuck in the room with six patients where the nurse, from the pods are supposed to help take care of one of those patients, put one on, take one off. Since we're so short staff, of course that didn't happen. So I'm in this room of six people by myself. People can't even handle four to five patients by themselves. I was able to handle all six of my patients each shift by myself, plus go over and help the room next to me because they were drowning so bad and take their patients off and set up their machines it involved a lot of fucking running around and sweating, but yeah, yeah, I'm a badass. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so that's why I had to go take a shower right away. Like I, I, I just don't understand how. Like I get it, you're short staff, but like, how does the manager not see how shitty everyone is and just like get rid of them? I get it, you're short staff, you can't really get rid of anybody, but like. I don't know, maybe because our manager is never out on the fucking floor. Like, I was pissed off today. So, when I say turn... So, we have a first shift and a second shift. And third shift on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Shifts don't matter at your place, apparently, because... Yeah. Okay, so when I say... through them uh, When I say first shift, I mean patient-wise. Oh, okay. okay. So, our first shift patients come on usually 5 a.m. And then they stagger, like, 15, 20 minutes in between. So, like, I have a 5 o'clock, a 5.30, a 5.45, 6, 6.15, 6.45, 7. And then they all stagger, like, with coming off. And you have only so long to set up these machines before second shift patients come in, and they kind of start staggering. Yeah. But I was pissed off because... So, I, with our three rooms, we're supposed to have two techs in the big room and a nurse two techs in the middle room and a nurse and then a nurse and a tech in the small room. Well, someone did come in and help out today in the middle room, but they had to leave in the middle of turnover, which is the worst. Where the fuck was our manager? Her fucking ass was not on the floor helping. Yeah. She was in her office eating McDonald's. Yeah. That's when you report them to a higher power. But there was a note on her door. <laughs> we are doing really well with, um, Patient census, census. Well, no shit, because you keep adding all these fucking patients when we don't have the staff. She has been working the third shift, though. Yeah. She has been doing that because nobody else is going to fucking do it. She has been doing that until she fucking makes it mandatory. I'm surprised she remembers how to do it. <laughs> Not very well. But. We got Amber in the comments. She's getting mad we're not acknowledging her, apparently. Looks like a lot of middle fingers. Four of them. What she got over there? Oh, I was reading a message from oh. the manager. <laughs> ah, I thought you were reading the chat or something. No. No, that's that sucks, and I've I've hated I've hated that you you've been in this position because like I remember how excited you were to oh, yeah. get this job and then Super get, through, get through the training. I remember how nervous you were. I was very nervous. All because I mean, uh, sticking people is nerve wracking. And then, like you, you, you got the hang out of it, and you, you started breezing through it, and, and then all this shit started happening. It was just, which is stressful. But yeah, yeah, I was. It's, it's been stressful for me. Just I know, because you have to listen to me. Well, bitch. I mean, just listening. But no, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a very empathic person. So like, yeah. I feel what other people feel when they're talking to me, or if I, and, or like. A, a lot of I get, I get sensory overload pretty mm -hmm. easily, which is why I'm usually, yeah you do, which I'm why I'm usually pretty quiet if there's like a lot of a lot going on or 
No, there's been times where I've been like really stressed. And you're like, I can't fucking deal with your yeah. stress. <laughs> yeah, I can't do I, it. I take it on, like it, despite not actually like feeling what you feel or experiencing what you're experiencing. You get tired of the bitching. The, the I take on the stress that you are exerting, I guess. Yeah. And um, and I, I I do my best to handle it. Yeah. I'm either quiet and just listen. Or on, the, on a few occasions, I've just been like, "Shut the fuck up! I, I can't do it." <laughs> yeah, it's been I, a while since you've said that. It's been a while since I've straight up been like, "I cannot fucking listen to you right now." I know. Well, <laughs> but, and I feel and bad there, that I bitch so much. I try there, not to. Yeah, there are times where I'm just like, once I'm over it, I just start one wording, and I'm sure you can tell. Yeah, I can tell. But you do the same when it comes to your work and the things that you oh, say. I know. I know. No, your job is not as stressful, and you don't bitch as much about your job. But, but no, no, I was, I was super excited about this job, especially when, you know, I tried to apply for this job and got offered a position when I was with my ex and had to turn it down because back then the training wasn't paid. And he said, we can afford for me to go do the training. So I had to turn down this position and this money. And I was so upset and here I get offered this again. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. And I was nervous, super fucking nervous. Like I said, sticking people with needles is nerve wracking. And just, I mean, you're literally dealing with their blood. Like, like the slightest mistake could kill them. And so it is nerve wracking. And I did, I, I breathed through it. And, you know, I read all these, especially before I started my training, I read all these stories where, you know, it takes most people six months to a year to get the hang of things and, I had it within, I mean, even my preceptor was like, you're freaky good. Well, I mean, like, that's, that's the trend with you is like when you, when you get into something, you get good at it really fast. I do. And I feel like people take me as a joke when I say that, like in interviews and stuff, because of course, when you're in an interview, you're trying to sell yourself. Well, like you're trying to make the yourself thing is, good. I've, I've watched you do things. Like I've watched you like either make things or like create things or just do something and like on the on the occasions like where you've made something for me like my i mean as silly as it sounds my cut off shorts <laughs> or stuff like that like yeah. my quail man costume like yeah. you kicked ass at that i mean it's simple but you kicked ass at it and you just did it uh-huh. you know you, you do things and you're good at them when you put, I am. When you I really am. To it. I mean, I've seen your cakes and stuff. Like they're excellent. No, I am. I really am. And that's like when I was on the phone interview yesterday. I, I mean, the lady even told me, "Slow down." I think you. I feel like you're thinking of like, the perfect answer. You know, qu- to these questions. And I'm like, no, that's just me. Like, it sounds so, and like, when she asks, when they, when they, this is one thing I hate in interviews. When they ask for those experiences, where you've been disciplined or you've been told you're doing something wrong and to change it. I literally have never had that happen just because, and I don't know how to explain this to people for them to be like, wow, she's one time. I can remember one time where I've ever, and I wasn't even disciplined. I was just told to correct something. It was when I first became a CNA, my first week I left a patient's back then Alarms now are, like, different with the state. But back then, they had these motion alarms by the beds. Mm -hmm. And I worked second shift, and I put this patient in the bed, and I walked out, and the nurse was still in there. I forgot to turn the alarm on. She said, hey, just remember to turn the alarm on. Ever since then, like, I've never been disciplined for my work. I've never been told, you're doing something wrong, you need to change it, or, you know... So I always hate getting asked those questions in interviews because I, and I'll tell them, I'll be like, honestly, I don't know how to answer that because I don't, I mean, I take my work seriously. I'm quick at what I do. And that doesn't mean I breeze through it and make mistakes. I go over, like, I'm just thorough and very, I don't even know how to say it, but, but yeah, but no, I do. I absolutely love this job. And, you know, my, my preceptor said, you know, you're freaky good at this like nobody's picked it up as quick as you have and i take pride in that i take pride in having several patients request me or tell me i'm their favorite or their angel so that's another reason why i'm stressed because i i love people i'm very social and i very and people i take care of especially mean a lot to me 
So that's another reason why I'm like stressing out because I've got so many multiple patients in my head where I'm like, they would be so hurt if I left. Yeah. I mean, when I was with Michael, he would make me feel bad. I don't know if he meant to make me feel bad or not. When I would leave a nursing home because it was so stressful, he's like, just think of all those people not getting good care now. And I'm like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> I don't want to think of that. So I am, I am stressed that it's the hours have become what I was not promised. And I, I've been trying my best. I've been, but you can only try so long. And I try not to bitch because I know you hate it. How long have you had that Ron Swanson pop? I've had that for about a couple of years now. I mean, I had it at Abbey Lane. I just not noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I've had pretty much Random, all of these. But... Uh, a few of these are only like a year old, but and I know like one of them's Christmas. I just don't think I've ever realized you had that one. Well, I think it's because we've been watching a lot of Parks and Rec, and you're recognizing them now. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, there's my bitching. Who is your favorite character on Parks and Recreation? Hmm. I'm I'm pretty split between Andy and Ron That's, Swanson. Oh, I know. As Ron. you as, as you know. Um, I like Andy, but I also like Latrelli. Oh, Chris Traeger. I love him. Oh, uh, yeah. Him and Anne, they're what's so his, sweet. What's his name? I can't even remember his real name right now, but um. Yeah, his name in the show is Chris Traeger. Yeah. Um, I think I, I like him because he's... He's so positive and upbeat. Yeah. Like, and nonstop. Although I bitch to you a lot, I am a very positive person. You like are. I wish you could see me at work because I'm not so naked and bitchy. I am very positive. And when I have patients, multiple patients point that out and say things... I don't know, but I think that's why I like him and Anne, because Anne's that caring, sweet, compassionate person, which I am, and then he's just so positive and upbeat. And Even when he's talking about, like, something that's negative, he's, like, which, like about his illnesses or anything right. like that, anytime he's sick. Which is funny, though, because I've always been, this sounds, so I am a positive person, but I, I have always been that, okay, so I guess work I'm positive life I haven't been as positive because I I have so many experiences where I get happy I get motivated I get positive I think something's gonna happen that's good and it gets shit on so quick and so bad multiple times so I'm always like fuck life why should I be positive when always like life like every time I think you know it's good and life's good life's like fuck you no it's not here you go so it is funny that Cause I'm not as positive as him. Work-wise, yes. Life, no. <laughs> no. I, I love how we're like analyzing your life right now. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's almost like it's your therapy session. Yes, it is. <laughs> you're, you're getting to vent and. Do I need to scream louder? No, you're into fine. Into the, the the microphone. No, you're fine. We don't we we don't have Tyler here. We're good. I know that's. What, do I need to be Tyler? No. The the audience needs a break from that for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty bad when I can be in our living room listening to TV and I can hear him screaming <laughs> from a, I well, mean like, and I even videotape it yeah. and, you can, and you can still hear the thing it. is like these the ceiling is like just not insulated whatsoever or something because no he's just loud <laughs> I mean he You're is loud, I, I will I, I will say that he is loud but like just the fact that you can usually be like can you turn that down or something and I'm like it's not even loud oh yeah I can always hear your stuff yeah, so, like, I think it's just, like, the ceiling is just not insulated or very soundproofed. It just, sound travels through it so easily. When that sound is loud, then yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. But no, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I have an interview tomorrow, Now I got my manager begging me to stay and telling me she'll do whatever. She's offering me a raise, I think. She's like, money's <laughs> not an issue. That's negotiable. <laughs> uh, $50 I, I, an I, hour Like I told you like I, I would be like dude I don't care about money I mean money's nice See but, but I like, do But no but you already make good money Yeah but both of the other jobs are less than what I make now well, Yeah okay that's not what I'm saying I'm not, I'm not even talking about the other no. jobs I'm saying 
money is not an issue when it comes to this place because no. you are making good yeah. money. But it's just the hours. It is. And they are so ridiculous. But, hey, if I can get more money out of this, I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just so ridiculous. And I'm like, I, I, I have no issue doing all the things that I need to do to, like, keep this household running while you're at work. Hopefully not. No, I, I, I mean, don't. Married it's into just it. like, I just wish you were here. You know, I wish I was here too. <sighs> yeah, but but no, I don't know. But no, money is an issue for me because I I'm a provider. Yeah, I am, and you have stated several times before that you don't you, the kids aren't your financial responsibility. So, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> see, but they are like because I do take care of everyone financially in a way. You do. I mean, because I, I mean, we I split our bills and you take them to the, the, the babysitters and you pick them up. Mm -hmm. but I, buy, I buy mean, food. I mean, it's just it's just an even thing all the way around. As far as like when it comes to school, their education, their extra, what is that? Ex, I can't even think of the word right now. Extracurriculars. Thank you. I came. They did not want to come out of my mouth. Um. You don't. You said no. That's not your responsibility. I just I don't think it is, but that's a discussion from a former from a previous episode. If yeah, you want to check that out. You're right. Um, yeah. What else were we going to talk about? Is that enough of my bitching? You want to hear more? <sighs> Damn. You wanted to talk about an hour. You want to? Oh, are we done then? No. Nope, yep. <laughs> we're done. You wanted to talk about Andrew Luck. Yeah, I want I want you to share your opinions on the whole Andrew Luck situation. Okay. Uh, Andrew Poor talked about it today on, um, or I guess Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, but today is Tuesday. Um, what did he have to say about it? He, he, he's, he's pretty pissed. Uh, he, At what? The fans. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, he, he discussed he discussed toxic toxic fans. Talking here. You wanted me to discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he talked about uh, toxic fan bases. Uh, he, he discussed both the whole Andrew Luck thing and the Spider Man deal between so see that Marvel. whole thing i don't know what's going on there like i mean i know what's going on but i don't like it's not something i'm like Ugh. uh so Bye -bye. back back in the day mm -hmm. marvel wanted to want they to get they were they didn't have enough money to make their own movies so they sold the movie rights to several different studios like fox for x-men and fantastic four uh -huh. universal got hulk sony got Spider-Man and all of his villains and characters. Um, so, over time, to think they didn't Disney, have the money. <laughs> Disney Marvel acquired a lot of those back. Right. But, I mean, most recently, the Fox deal. Mm -hmm. But uh, four years ago, they got the rights to... They, they made a deal with Sony to use Spider-Man in the MCU universe. And in return, they would help Sony out with their own Spider-Man movies. And that's so. That's how we got Tom Holland playing right. this current Spider-Man. So what does um, this all mean? Does that all mean that Spider-Man does not matter in Avengers? Like, what? What is the whole? It, like, just going forward, we don't know because the deals there hasn't been a, de a new deal made. But as of right now, uh, Spider-Man is solely on in Sony. Will not be in MCU movies. So, so like, if they were to ever make another Avengers right now, currently there would be no Spider-Man. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, they can't. They can't say anything about Spider-Man or the Spider-Man characters in that universe. <gasps> Spider-Man at well, the same time cannot mention any of those characters. I mean, it's, it's just at least if they were to make another Avengers, the one person who really cared about Spider-Man is dead. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just it's, it's a weird situation. I mean, it, it's far from over. I feel like they're they're still working something out, and it's. It's been back and forth uh, as to who's at fault for this breakdown of the deal. Um, I think at some at one point Marvel was like, "Look, we'll just outright buy Spider-Man from you. What what name your price?" And Sony's like, ten billion dollars." And Marvel's One like, million or dollars. Disney. It's not even Marvel. It's Disney. <laughs> Disney's like, "Yeah, no." <laughs> My face still looks really red in the camera. It's, it's gonna. It's anyway, gonna, so it's, back it's, to it's Andrew Luck. Yeah, back to Andrew Luck. Talk. Yes, I am pissed at the fans. What happened? He retired. So from what I understand... Hold he, on. So backstory. He told his teammates in the locker room that he was going to retire. Uh-huh. 
somebody overheard that and got it out to the media. Ugh. And so that kind of forced his hand. He was not ready to, like, announce that, I right. guess. Oh, I bet not. That was, and, like, the worst time to announce it. So I guarantee you it was some little yeah, snitch. Yeah, so, like, I guarantee, like, the owner, Ur- Ursay or the coach or mm-hmm. somebody was like, you need to get ahead of this before Monday. Yeah. Because that's going to be 48 hours of, like, press coverage. Yeah. And, no. Um, no, Andrew Luck retired. When I saw it, I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck? Especially right before... Right when the season's starting. That is a shitty way to... Did he even play that game? No, he didn't. He retired before the game? Yeah, he he, he was on the sidelines. He was not dressed for the game. Wow. Um, I love the Colts, and I love Andrew Luck. Have we spent a shit ton of money on Andrew Luck? Yes. I think he would have been worth it, though, had he had offensive linemen to protect him like they should. So, let's go back. You know, okay. When he got signed on, everyone's like, because eh, he got signed on the same time Russell Wilson, I think it was, got signed on. So, those were the two, like, big quarterbacks everybody was watching. Like, who's the better one? His poor dude steps into the Colts and has to follow the number one quarterback shoes. That right there is stressful enough. Manning's to follow in Manning's shoes is stressful. So he took on that role. He did a good job. He was a good yeah, quarterback. Yeah, he was at too. Yeah, he was young. I mean, he's our age. Yeah, I mean Manning was young too when yeah. he started. But yeah, so he was a good quarterback. He led his team very well. He was a very positive person. He was a very good person, good-hearted. And that's one thing I loved about the Colts always. I always felt like the Colts were a wholesome team, wholesome fan base. You know, we never, you never saw our team get in fights or, you know, sh- like you see these, these stories about um, these fans raging through the cities and burning shit down. Oh, the Eagles fans. <laughs> I've never seen Colts fans do that. So this poor guy no, they, just, they just whine and complain on Facebook. This poor guy <laughs> gets handed this crappy team. Not crappy team, but the crappy team. Nobody protects him at all. No, he, he was when, constantly when you're letting injured. your quarterback get fucking sacked and hit, he's gonna get hurt. Our body like our bodies are fragile. I'm surprised half of them aren't dead from the impacts that they take. So he got hurt a lot. He stuck around. We tried to, you know, he, he comes back and he gets hurt again. It's, it, you know, it's sad. It is so sad that, you know, he could have gone to another team, had better offensive line, and could still be playing because he, yeah, it, this, this poor guy had potential. Yeah. You know, and he loves football. You can tell he loves football. And it's sad. But, but no, when they announced that he was retiring – I was upset, and then I fucking hear that the Colts fans boo him off Why he's going to the locker room. Like, that pissed me off. That made me almost ashamed to be a Colts fan. Because this poor guy has had a lacerated kidney, broken bones, and fucking surgeries after surgeries. And you're going to boo And he's stuck with us. And you're going to boo him his last walk off the field, you're going to boo at him? Like, how low do you have to be? How selfish do you have to be to do that to somebody? Like, this guy's recently married. He's got a kid on the way. I don't blame him for retiring at all. No, I He's don't thinking either. about himself. He's thinking about his family. Yeah, he could have continued to play and made more of fucking billions and billions of dollars and this kid would have never had to work and his great 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 grandkids would have never had to work but who's to say if he would have stepped back on that field and got hit at the wrong time he could have died like i don't like props to him i mean that was that was a bold move to do but clearly his head's in the right place yeah, his family I agree. Uh, and again, like I said, I, and then I fucking read today where someone, I don't know if this is true or not, slashed his fucking tires. Yeah. 
after people are just so shitty people are shitty and selfish like people just don't understand how to be human beings no they anymore. don't they don't they don't have compassion like i could have understand that this was a shitty ass fucking quarterback that came in and like acted yeah, like, like jake he, cutler like yeah. this was jake cutler. acted like he owned <laughs> like, the team and did shitty and didn't like like Fuck the cool, like talk shit about the team and they play. Yeah. But no, this, this was, guy. If this was Jay Cutler, yeah, slashes tires all day. Who gives a fuck? But like, this despite guy... the guy, despite the fact that Jay Cutler is my fucking hero, <laughs> but he's a total piece but of no, shit. This guy did not deserve to be booed off stage. This guy, like, um, when I read like his his like after the game, his re- when he was his report, like, he was crying like. You can tell this is men- he didn't want to do this. This is mentally draining him. And you're gonna fucking boom off stage. Yeah. Like I am ashamed to be a Colts fan. Like I am, and I hate that can because always become a. Pay- uh, I was about to say Patriots fan. <laughs> uh, Fuck no. <laughs> uh, Falcons fan. No. Uh, we're pretty cool. No, because I'm pretty cool. You know, and like, and I'm sure every fan and stadium, you know, they all act kind of the similar like when their teams on the field are quiet you know the, the defense is on the field and they're loud but i've been to some Colts games and i've you know seen you know this, that. and for like i like why why would you boo him off stage like it pisses me off it makes me want to cry for him but um uh, no i i no, i'm not mad at it at all I don't care about the money. I mean, yeah, I do hate that fucking football players make so much fucking yeah, money. Yeah, right. But I am one of those fans that buy into their fucking shit. <laughs> but, I mean, they, they, they make so much money, but they, they sacrifice so much they in terms do. of their bodies. They sacrifice their stu- their bodies for our selfish wants and needs. And it, over, over a game. Yeah. And, then, well. and that's another thing. People are getting so pissed off over a player in a game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A player that's just good enough to do it at a professional level and do it in front of TV. Well, and what's and funny is, like, it. when Manning left and so many people, so many Colts fans, like, turned their backs, everyone's like, oh, see where your heart's at, not the team, just the player. Uh, everybody's saying the same thing now. Like, to me... Like, fans act like the the, the players are getting paid by them. I know. <laughs> like, fuck you. I know. They're like, paid by, like... Not once did I ever think, oh, well, that fucking money that he's getting and all this money I wasted on him. No, like, I thought, I felt bad for him, and I thought, good for you. Like, this, it, it is sad, but, well, just, like, well, what's funny is, like, Pat McAfee, Colts kicker, he fucking retired. Nobody booed him off. Yeah. And I did not expect him to retire. I think it was just the timing is why it pissed a lot of people yeah, off. Yeah, I can see that. That was a little... But again, it, it probably was not on him at all. No. Like... Like, people are... Like, I guarantee people are pissed about their, their fantasy league and the, yeah. the draft to him. It's like, get the fuck over it. People are so get butthurt the over fuck anything. Get over it. But, no, I don't know. I think... So he's young enough, and you know he's talented enough. I think he's got a very successful career in whatever he chooses to do. I even read where they said something about there's a possibility of him returning back to football. I don't know how true that is. If he wants to do that, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like. I mean, he could, there's several routes he could take. He could he could go like, um, what's his name, Romo. He could be a commentator. He could uh, he could he could be a coach. He could, he could be a, a coordinator. Like, there, there are so many there things is. he can do within football. But at least he'll still be physical and be able to move for his child when it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Be there for his wife when she gives birth and can help out. That, that That's the thing. that People don't have hearts nowadays at all. No, they don't understand that these people that they... Are people. Yeah, exact, exactly. They, they don't, don't understand realize the people. that these people that we put on pedestals and, like, worship and follow their every fucking move... And comment on everything they do. Uh, they're just they're just people. You know, you say that they're human beings. I I do agree with that, but at the same time, I do sometimes hate celebrities. Oh, I yeah. do. I mean, like they act like we're like you. No, fuck you. You're not. You don't have all these financial burdens unless you put yourself in that because you got into debt and blew all your money that we gave you. <laughs> I mean, there are people out there that yeah, for sure. It's like they just came onto money. Or yeah. they, they 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 were talented at some yeah, point but... and earned their money, but then they just stopped and yet they're still earning money. Yeah. But then there are people like like 
uh, just gonna throw some names out there the rock john cena um like some actors like that are constantly working their ass off to get there to make sure that the money they get is earned yeah you know yeah but no like i remember reading in magazines where like there would be this like section where it's like celebrities they're like us too and it's like them grocery shopping or them picking up their i'm like no they're not fucking like us like they have it so much better sometimes and the media and paparazzi blah 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 i'm sorry but i will take i'm not i'll take your life i gladly just like charlotte says you know lifestyles of the rich famous that song like we will take that quit Mm. bitching about it like i don't know i gotta go pee really bad though (laughs) i'm like i can't do it anymore oh man top Yeah, it's it's such a weird life that we live where we have these people that are paid so much money and have little to no responsibility whatsoever other than just to keep themselves alive or keep themselves in shape. And like kudos to the kudos to the ones that, you know, stay down to earth and, you know, act again, like I said, work their asses off to stay in shape, uh, stay on top of the game of whatever they're doing. You know, good for them, but you know, there's there's a lot of them out there that just do nothing and don't earn their pay. I guess it's it's weird, like, cause I can't I can't knock I can't knock some of these celebrities for being rich. I mean, that's just the the life that they chose or were thrust into, and they got lucky. They got lucky. That's all there is to it. You know, or, or again, they earned their spot. I don't know. You back? How'd you do? I did okay. I talked a little bit. <laughs> I said some things. <laughs> oh. Get get all comfy. I am. <laughs> oh. oh boy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. My legs are tingling. Yeah. What are we going to do for dinner tonight? I have no idea. I feel like I shouldn't eat, though. Tyler's dad comments, with a chef and staff of trainers, one would think it was easy. <laughs> Add nothing else to do. He's very right. I mean, but at the same time, that's their job. Like, that is their to-do. Um, I mean, if they have kids, I'm sure they raise them the best they can and when they're working they have of course they I don't have know. The, they have the luxury of nannies I was going to say I know a lot of celebrities or I like they have nannies like bitch you think fucking Britney Spears is getting up in the middle of the night with her kids to change their diapers and feed <laughs> I them know. I don't no, know no I highly doubt it I mean it's it, yeah it's I it's think she had unlikely. her kids when they were babies <laughs> but no but see and that's and then that's the other thing where man, I'm glad sometimes I'm not a celebrity because yeah there are some out there that are kind hearted and you know appreciate things but the majority of them like they don't they haven't lived that life where they have to appreciate things they have to like you know people like you know celebrity parents have all these nannies I would never in a million years want a nanny. Although, yes, the thought of never having to get up with a newborn in the middle of the night sometimes might sound appeasing. But I loved that connection. I love that bonding. So, yeah. What the hell's blowing up our snap? Hmm? What's up? Oh, I was looking at our our chat. Okay. <laughs> what? I had to look up uh, who Lori Laughlin is. Who is that? Um, she's the, I guess uh, the, um, the one who ends up, like, seeing Jesse in uh, Full House, and ends up being like, his wife and, Mary, like I don't know. Why are we talking about this? Uh, because she, there was a, there was a scandal not long ago where she basically paid her. Oh, for her child to go to college. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of them actually getting accepted. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. So, yeah. But no, dinner, I don't know, because 
at four o'clock this morning, I sat in my car and ate about a hundred like uh, cowtails. What is a cowtail? <gasps> what, what's a cowtail? Okay, so the cowtail is like the long piece, but I got these little. It's the caramel chewiness with the soft, yummy, creamy center. <laughs> You're telling me you don't know what a cowtail is? I've never is? had a cowtail. What? Hold on. <laughs> never had a cowtail. Oh my god, they're just these. Those cowtails? Nope. You never had a cowtail? Never had a cowtail. These, oh, right here. You'll. You've got it. You just, if you tell me you don't know what these are, those. Nope. What? They can't see it. <laughs> yeah, don't show the camera. They can't, it's not real to see your phone from over there. I, I didn't eat the full blown <laughs> out like cowtail stick. I ate the, the caramel cream bullseyes. Yeah. It's caramel. Like, okay, so that's caramel. And then the centerpiece is just the creamiest, most, I don't even know that. I mean, I. I used to as a kid, and I still currently do, will eat the caramel first and then save those little pieces, the little white pieces, and then shove them all in my mouth because they melt in there so perfectly. But I bought a bag yesterday because I stopped at CVS uh, before I picked up the kids to get some sleeping pills because I have a hard time sleeping. So I saw this yummy, delicious bag of cowtails, and I'm like, hmm, I need you in my life. It's okay. I keep I keep buying two pound bags of Sour Patch Kids yeah, watermelons. Yeah, fuck you. So I I'm got this bag. Second, I'm only on my second bag. I got this bag, and I ate quite a few in the parking lot waiting for the kids. But then this morning, I'm like so stressed. I didn't want to be at work. I'm sitting in the parking lot, and I shove like fifty of these in my mouth, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went on lunch. What did I get on lunch? Oh no, on my break, I didn't even. I took my break. I didn't even do any. I took a nap on my break. I never take naps. I was so, like, drained and emotionally just like, I don't want to be here. I went out to my car, and I set my alarm, and I fell asleep. And then I got <laughs> Burger King for lunch, and that was a horrible idea. Yeah, Burger King sucks. I know. But when I was going back in, I found two more of these cow tails, and I <laughs> ate them. And I all day I've been like doing this, and I can feel my double chin. I'm like Jesus. Fuck. Tyler's dad says sour cola, sour cola bottle gummies. Yes. Hottie bow. <laughs> I can't believe you never had a. Do you like caramel? That's all right. I don't mind it. You're gonna eat one of these. I'll have to buy more because I ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. They're so good. The strawberry yeah. cocktails. Yeah, mm. we, we need to find out what we're doing for dinner. I don't even know. I'm I mean, so fat I shouldn't eat. It's 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 too late to cook. Mm -hmm. And we don't have I'm enough, not cooking anyway. We don't have enough money to go eat out. We so do but like, we don't. We're not broke people. I'm broke. <laughs> I wasn't broke. I've been doing so good with my money. And then this weekend for some reason I thought I was rich. Ooh, that's something we could talk about this weekend. Oh yes. Go. So first off, I had my ten year class reunion. That was fun. So much fun. It was it was like Two hours. Caught up with, like, five people. <laughs> it, was, it was okay. Caught up with five people for, like, two seconds, but then sat there and talked to three people that you know yeah, the most. <laughs> yeah, we, we sat and talked to Andy and Jasmine for no, a while. this weekend. What did we do this weekend? So it's Saturday. Summer, summer's in. Yeah, we went to Summer's in Festival. For those of you who don't know, is Rossville's little tiny shindig. Mm -hmm. Um. I used to absolutely, it used to be right there on 26, busiest fucking highway. I don't know how the hell nobody got hit or killed because 26 is a crazy mess. It used to be big. There used you mean to be... they didn't detour around it or? No, you'd go right, they had booths right there where the parking spots were on the side of the road. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, I remember it, I remember getting a turtle from my first summer in festival. I went, I got a turtle. That turtle lived forever. Um, they typically do. They don't have booths now with turtles, though. It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was cool going there. I mean, I I had a really awesome pork chop. Oh my god, the FFA yeah. pork chops are I was really the good. best. I, I remember at one point, like I was like, this has a bone. Yeah, I, I was not expecting a, <laughs> like, a T-bone. Come on, real men eat. Real people eat. I don't. Them. I hate I hate having to do it around. It, no, but I, I think okay. So the last couple times I've had bone in. Uh, my meat, uh, it hasn't been too bad. 
because I'm I'm an adult and I can handle cutting around it now. Yeah. Um, no, we'll see what theirs is. So tenure just falls off. It's like, oh my god, oh, it's yeah. so good. But no, uh, we missed the parade, which was sad because I like parades. And I like Russell's parade. Like, they, they have a lot. And the FFA pork chop truck drives through and passes out free pork chops. I hunted them down one year just to get a free pork chop. I started at the beginning and went all the way to the end screaming, I want a pork chop. I'm not surprised. <laughs> they gave me one, though. Um, so, yeah, we went there. Uh, the booths I was disappointed in. Like, there used to be so much. Yeah, there wasn't much. I mean, So much. I mean, you could just, like, it, it was so sad because back then it was when they had this stuff, I didn't have money to buy yeah. things. And I have money to buy things, and they don't have anything I want to buy. Um, but, no, we got pork chops. We saw Mr. Griffin, my favorite teacher ever. He's literally the best. He's just a good person. Just, he used to give me so much shit for marrying Michael. He's such a good. He was my FFA teacher, my ag teacher, my landscaping. My, you know, I just love him. Like, it's sad to think, but like I would love the kids to have him as a teacher, but he's not. He's not gonna be there. Yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll probably still be alive, but not be teaching. Yeah. But um. I, I had a good time walking around Rossville. Like we didn't yeah. do much, but we just we, walked we went around. to look at garage sales, which I was all excited for. I love garage selling, but by that time I just wasn't really wanting to spend money. But um, yeah. Then we then we headed to Delphi. I was excited because I want a free jacket <laughs> from Nazira's dance studio, which I never win anything. I was excited, but then I get the jacket and it's like three times too small. Which you got an extra large. An extra large. But this is why women think they're fat because society makes them think they are. I get an extra large and it fits like a medium. It's tiny. Maverick said it was cute though. Nazira thought it was hers. Oh, I She's bet. She's like, I got a new dance jacket. Uh, no, like, wrong! It says said, dance mom. <laughs> I said, that's mommy's. <laughs> Leave it alone. Yeah, we, we, we got, and then we went straight to the reunion where we just hung out there for a while. It was all right. Like it was okay. I was um, disappointed because we were given free drink tickets. You get one free drink. Yeah. And when I said sex on a the beach, they said nope, it can't be free. And I'm like, what the fuck? Talk yeah. about whatever. That was weird. Like I don't know. I don't think a lot of planning went into it. Obviously, <sighs> clearly not. But like I, I didn't expect much. In fact, I didn't even expect to have one until like people started cropping up talking about it but yeah. uh yeah it was it was all right not a lot of people showed up i mean there, you didn't really introduce me to anybody honestly i didn't really i, I did well you didn't introduce me to stripey dress girl i didn't i don't know i think you only introduced me to one guy towards the end i don't even know who his name was might have been casey but but no uh, it was it was uh it wasn't bad you uh you chit chatted with some people. I sat there and talked to one of your friends' girlfriends that I knew, so I wasn't left alone. Which I mean, I don't mind getting left alone at events anyway. I'm good at mingling. Yeah, yeah but there towards the end, it was getting kind of like well, I spent like twenty dollars on drinks and wasn't feeling a buzz. Yeah, again, at all. Like, again, like I said, uh, I think that's just they did that just so you'd spend more money. Maybe I don't know. It uh, was a new girl working, and yeah, she... it was it was an all right time. Like I, I wish a few more people would have showed up. I wish, yeah, it is what it is. Um, then we went to the bacon festival where we Waste wasted of money. ten dollars a piece. Waste of money. Um, and we did get free slices of bacon, ten dollar bacon. Yeah, but... ran in, ran into Calvin. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we went back to Summer Festival. It was just festival. so packed. Like yeah, it was. It way was overwhelming. Too it was way Which I don't too get packed. overwhelmed, but it was. It was just way, way too busy. But yeah, we went to Summers and Festival. Got when we spent more money. I did. Got the kids little shaved ice because their dad's worthless and couldn't. Got myself some cotton candy. Wait, he refused to buy it, or did he? Do you didn't hear? I asked him desire. She goes, "Can you buy us slushies?" And I said, "Why can't your dad?" He told us to ask you. Wow. Yeah. And he even said that. Yeah, I told him to ask you. Like, a piece of like, shit. Like, you piece of shit. This is your time with him. I ended up spending, like, I don't know, 60 or $70. I thought it was hot shit. And then I checked my bank account. I'm like, yeah. 
Damn it. We have all these bills coming up this weekend. Yeah. We spent a little too much money this weekend because the next day, Sunday, we went and made a trip down to 450 North. Yeah, which was awesome. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I didn't I didn't spend a lot of money on gas. That was nice. Yeah. We spent like $40 a piece. Yeah. We got amazing slushies. I think that's like the first time I've actually sat and drank there. Normally, I only get a flight yeah. and that's it. This time, I got a flight and then uh, two, two drinks. Two drinks. Uh, they got, were amazing. I loved that um, Millions slushy. It was so good. I caught a buzz right away, and then you made me eat, and I lost it. I was stuffed. But that pulled though. pork sandwich was so it good. It was so good. It really was. I was so stuffed. Normally, so we get pizza, but we said this time we are no not pizza. getting pizza. Well, I said no pizza, and when I meant no pizza, I meant I'm not fucking eating. I'm just drinking. <laughs> and then you said, we need to eat. No, we need to eat. And then I saw that pulled pork, and I was like, Your mm. stomach will appreciate it. It didn't, though, because I was so fucking stuffed. Yeah, we were both stuffed. But then again, those slushies are just so filling. They are. They're just so thick and filling. And it's just, but they're so good. <sighs> and we, I, I said, maybe we drank them too fast, because this other guy got a flight, and he was sitting there taking his time. And I, <laughs> I buzzed right. I, I mean, I drank mine fast. Yeah. I was really bummed, because I didn't have the slush mallow uh, available. Yeah. And uh, they, they didn't have one of their IPAs, which I would have tried. Uh, instead, I got the two IPAs I've had before. They just re-released them. And no, we, we were going to try the the oh, slush, slush pops, pops, but we the, were the just... The slushy freezes. We couldn't. Oh, my God. I want to try those so bad still. We couldn't put any more in our stomachs. Well, they got another release coming out on the 13th. I probably that's their, were. That's their seven-year anniversary. I saw that. And they're giving away free shit. Yep. So I don't know what we're going to do there, but... Well, you work. I work. Yeah. Probably. Oh, well. Then we got their uh, corn maze coming up. Which I have off. Mm -hmm. I do, too. I do have that off. By the way, I don't have any Saturdays in September. Must be nice. As of now. Must be nice. I got the, I got the email today. No, I, I really enjoyed 450 North this time. It was, yeah. it was nice to just go there sit there and drink it is it just sucks that it literally takes our entire day oh it does to drive down there and then drive back because then by the time we got back we're stuffed we want to relax and then bam kids are here yep <laughs> and at that point we're irritable <laughs> yeah yeah so you, you like the millions that was your favorite that was my favorite because it was berry-ish, and I like berries. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of wish I would have drank more of that, or at least got it in my flight. And it was 10% alcohol. In, it, yeah, instead of uh, the IPAs. Like, I was just not impressed with the IPAs, nor did I really like them. Um, but yeah, the, that one, I, I wish I would have had that one. I wish I would have had... The cream sickle, the orange cream sickle, I did like. Yeah, the cream sickle was that. good. And was it the popsicle? You mean the the rainbow? The rainbow. Rainbow popsicle, yeah. and uh, and then they had the unicorn. Was it Would, unicorn horn or? Yeah, yeah. That, I liked it, but no, I liked the millions. Oh man, that, that's what I got my my full drinks of was the unicorn and the rainbow pop. Oh, and, I got millions. Oh my god, that rainbow pop was so good. Like <sighs> I said, we should still just take my parents' land and just do what they do, up here. <laughs> if only we knew how. Let's learn. <laughs> let's let's teach ourselves like that's I, I think that's it's so cool that they have that because that, that's so unique i don't know any other place it that is. does it i mean people make sours and yeah people, and i've tried some sours and they're not so good people make berliner vices which is what the slushies are they're berliner vices but i don't know whatever they're doing they i'm just glad they keep doing it because it's good and it's, i like it because i don't drink beer i hate beer yeah. But it's nice that I can go go down there and try different things. But remember when we they first started coming out with the slushies when they were the what were they called the, the sours? The, the, no, they weren't called the sours. They were uh, let me look over here. Slurpees. Slurpees. Yeah. Yeah. And they before they had to change their Slurpees. name. Slurpees. Um, Why did they have to change their name? Uh, Seven Eleven. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> it's a copyright thing. Oh my um, god. But no, remember like when they first came out and like we we tried them then. Yeah. Or I had you try them, and you're like, this, I still taste the yeast. Dude. Yeah. Um, They've definitely see, come a long way. They have. They are a lot fruitier and sour and not so yeasty. Um, 
And they were. I remember when they were when they were Slurpees. Uh, they. I don't want to say they were an acquired taste, but they were. Which is funny because I cannot acquire that taste for beer. I there's just. I don't think I will ever be able to acquire that taste. You know how I acquired it? I would argue just be drunk and I'd be like, well, See, that's I what people keep, say. Like, I, I want to keep drinking and this is all I have. So I'm I've tried that whole shit and I can't do it. <laughs> I, if I don't like something, I don't want to put it in my mouth. It's just that. I'm not going to force myself to like something. Like, there's been places I've gone to that, well, it depends. Like, I'll go get a drink and if it's bad and I'm not that drunk. I'll drink it, but I've gone, like, whose Bloody Mary is it? I like Bloody Marys. I like yeah. vodka, and I like tomato juice. The Bloody Mary, I think at Chumley's, they have, like, their own, like, tomato mix something. I don't know. It's disgusting. I wasted money because I'm not going to force myself to drink something I do not like. Yeah. So, I don't know. I wish I drank beer because then I'd be hotter, wouldn't I? No. Yeah. My Uncle Brian even shared something on Facebook that I meant to show you. Because guys, guys like girls that drink beer. It's just, it's, just uh, it's, it's not that it makes you hotter. It's just easier. What's easier? Like, like we can share drinks easily. We can, it's just. So lame. You don't, you don't have to worry about the, the person making your drink. It's just, it's beer. It's already, it's already made. <laughs> Every man deserves a girl who drinks beer. He goes, I do. See, you guys just think it's hot. I mean, I, I could care less. Like I said, it, well, in, I in fucking ter- hope not. In, in terms, in my in my opinion, it's just it's just easier because then I could just be like, we just get a, a fucking dirty 30 of whatever and then just drink it together. We don't have to worry about getting separate things. Or I mean, I'm fine with finding my own separate thing. There you go. It, again, it doesn't. It doesn't. If I put on a striped dress. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I shut can drink up. beer better. I have a striped dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's striped dress. I have a striped Work dress. Work for Tesla. <laughs> no, I don't. Shit, I'm a failure. <laughs> Fuck you. Me too. I work for Subaru. <laughs> <sighs> Are you, ready? Are you ready to go get something to eat? What are we getting to eat? I don't though? even know. Wendy's. Let's... I love how we're deciding. I feel like on we just had Wendy's. We did just have Wendy's. I was pissed off. I stopped and got Taco Bell yesterday. Yeah. So I worked yesterday on my day off until 10:45, and then I came home and I was like, Ew. and I kind of <laughs> fell asleep. Like that? <laughs> yeah. I fell asleep <laughs> a little bit on the on in bed, and I was like, shit, I need to eat. I need to get food before I pick up the kids. So I went to Taco Bell, and I wanted to get some Dorito Loco, Dorito Locos Tacos, <laughs> but that, it's hard to that drink right now. It, no, it's hard to drive and eat those. So I got a quesadilla, and they have this new cherry pop freezy. It's on mm-hmm. their board. They're advertising it. I said I'll take a number seven chicken soft taco with the large cherry pop and the fucking just like bitch that. goes we don't have that right now and i'm like mountain dew <laughs> i'm just like why are you advertising that you have this item that's what i would have said i would have been like you don't have this item your, why is it on your menu <sighs> you know i wanted to but i was so tired i was still sleeping <sighs> people i hate people sometimes yeah arrogant people <sighs> Ugh. So where are we eating? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so stuffed from all those fucking cow tails. <laughs> really? Do I look like I need to eat? You know what I had for lunch today? What did you have for lunch? They had like a build your own Philly steak today, and so I, I just I just went through the line and I I don't put, as, as you know I don't put like peppers and onions and stuff in that. <sighs> At least you eat my peppers. I'll, I'll do that if it's grilled because they they have like a certain like crunch to them. But like the way they do them, it's just, they're just mushy, and I don't want them. Um, so I, I got steak. I, got, I put mozzarella, and then I had this uh, horseradish sauce, which I'm not really into. <laughs> I'm not really into horseradish sauce. Shush, shush. Or horseradish horseradish sauce. Uh, but they have like an in-house one, and I was like, yeah, it's it's actually not bad. 
Um, so I ate that, and I had, like, cheesy potatoes. I had a double cheeseburger from Burger King that took 30 minutes to get to me. Wow. I am exaggerating. It took, like, 20 minutes to get. That's, That's still, still a long lot. time. That's still a long time. I had to fucking shove it down my throat, go yeah. inside, back to work, so I get half an hour lunch. I feel like I'm, I'm going to get backlash and heat because I said I... I got a Philly steak without onions and peppers and stuff, which that's like a staple of it. They even had like the the liquid cheese, and I didn't put that on there. Bill, oh, I don't like Philly. I do. I like Philly steaks. Oh, I don't. I I had a bad experience with them. I went to um. They're good with queso, like <sighs> queso, like white queso. See, no, oh. I went. So when I worked for the foundation company, and I did home shows a lot, I traveled. And our company, like, so I'd, I'd go to, like, home and garden shows and shit yeah. like that. And the company would pay for our lunch. And there was this Philly cheese or Philly steak, like, nacho stand. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck no. It was horrible. And that's <laughs> ruined me for those, my entire life. It was not good. Yeah. That's a bummer. Oh. My old roommate, he actually, he made, uh... Which old roommate? Uh, Nick Torres. You have, like, a lot of them. Yeah. I do. Uh... You say old, and I think Joe. No. Joe, I don't... No. Okay, then I think Andy. Uh, my old roommate, Nick Torres, uh, co-founder of this, uh, podcast. <laughs> uh, or co-creator, I guess. Uh, he, he one time for a carry-in made, he, Italian beef. Oh, he, he crock potted that shit and their peppers and all kinds of shit in there. Do you eat the peppers? Huh? Do you eat the peppers? No, it, it just flavored the meat. Oh. It was I part, can't wait. Part of that juice. We need to find some good crock pot recipes. We do, cause like. But I feel like every fucking time I do, I put way too much in there, and I say, "Ooh, we're gonna eat it for leftovers," and then nobody but I eats it for leftovers, and then it goes to waste. And I hate that I'm because real, I'm really bad about leftovers. You are. I mean, I'm not a huge leftover person. And I always say I'm gonna too, and I just don't. You need to because you're wasting my fucking money. <laughs> like when I make pot roast. Yeah. Those pot roasts are cheap, you know. I ate the pot roast. What are you talking about? We don't eat it for leftovers, well, though. I just eat steak, yeah. <laughs> you need to start eating leftovers, damn it. I do. You're wasting my we money. Really do. Yeah, we really do. I mean, I just, I just threw a shit ton of spaghetti away from last night. I know. Spaghetti is one of my favorite but leftovers. We, we, we left it out. Way to go. You're the last person to get it. It's your fault. Whatever. I made it. Whatever. I paid for it. It's I think your you're, fault. you're just trying to pick a fight with me. No. But, no, spaghetti is <laughs> one of my favorite leftovers. Yeah. But no, we really do, like, I mean, of course I'm not going to save a, a fucking pan of macaroni and cheese and shit. Yeah. But, like, crockpot shit is made to have leftovers. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, that Italian beef that Just, he made, like, like with, he ate it all week. Well, like, with the chicken and noodles, I was so excited that day. Oh, I was I made chicken and noodles. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and you're like, I won't eat his leftovers. And I had this entire fucking pot of it. I just throw away. Should have ate it. I did, <laughs> but I'm only one person. <coughs> let's get food before the kids get here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, please make every day a big dick day. You're welcome for being on here. <laughs> what? You didn't thank me for being on here. Oh, yeah, thank you. Well, it's too late now. You already said it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>